difficult is a uh, is a difficult way to get this kind of parameters. By this way, by this calculation, okay, the heating value we can know that. We can know that. From this way, we, from this function, we know that CH four is uh, the uh, the DTU, the heating value is C, uh, CH four is the three times of the H two. So H two is not so important for 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 heating value. CH four is very important. So this reason CH four we you should get a good result of the CH four. One percent of the CH four is equal to three percent of H two, and two percent of the of the CO. So the uh, the measurement of the CH four is very important. CHM also more than that, but in uh, gas fire system. CHM is very less, very less, and all the biochar process, CHM compared with CH4 is some less, so it's important, but not so important. So the most important thing is that the vital important is the CH4 for testing. So by this way, we can get the digital gas analyzer with CO, CO2, CH4, CH, H2, O2, and the heating one. So this way, this analyzer we, we produce in uh, 2004, 20, at, that, at, that, at that time, in 2005, we know everything with that, and then now sold in China. And also sold in Brazil, uh, uh, Austria, uh, and many countries. Okay. Okay, I will do some application case. Uh, sorry, yes. Before we go there, so um, I'm curious why for the CO you decided to use an NDIR. It seems that you could use a, a very basic electrochemical cell um, because you, you can you can solve the cross sensitivity between the CO and the H2 and CH4 by your um, your thermal conductivity for the, the hydrogen and your NDIR for the CH4. It doesn't seem that you would need the accuracy of the NDIR on the CO. We think that you could mathematically solve the, the with a, a much dirtier filter, a cross-sensitive filter, on the CO. So I, I cannot understand very well clear. It means that you want to use an electrochemical chemical sensor for CO? I'm, I'm asking, it, it, I, it appears that you could use a simpler s sensor on the CO, that you have more information than you actually need to solve the problem. Okay. The NDIR sensor is much more expensive than the CO sensor, right? Or, me, In the fact, for us, sensor. for NDIR is not so expensive. Okay, well, I thought they were. Um, so, so that, that's the basis of the question. I, I've assumed that the NDIR sensors are much more. We bought them here, they have been much more. No, them. NDIR have different kind of NDIR. <coughs> now, as a very simple NDIR can cost just like maybe forty dollars. A very simple one, and yeah, now maybe forty dollar, fifty dollar. A very simple one. <coughs> it just depends on the accuracy. Accuracy. <coughs> yeah. So if for for industrial industrial app application, maybe more than that because you should keep the temperature constant, and you can use the the infrared source more 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 with high accuracy and so on. Okay. Okay. <coughs> So I tell you some some uh, applica application. <coughs> uh, the one application is uh, I use, we use it in China for online monitor system for the calcium carbon furnace off gas monitor system. Before that, this kind of the furnace uh, was used for the CAC2. Do you know that? CAC2 is used for is the solid into the water and then. Uh, the the gas come out C two H two, is this kind of is now China is the main, main manufacturer in the world to do this kind of the, uh, the, the chemical. Formerly this kind of gas come out is the main is the C O sometimes C O two and C four and H two and O two H two is very important because the leakage of the moisture the moisture leakage and then H two come out and then expulsion. Generally in China, you see in, in this kind of plants, the house have low windows. Do you know why? <laughs> yes. Yeah. This reason. So the monitor here is very very important. So it's very yes, it's true that no window. It only is not necessary. So sometimes here it boom. Like that. Yeah. 
So we have installed uh, the uh, five gas analyzer monitor system in China. I think maybe in one company, uh, 40 piece, 40 system like that. They have many furnaces. He's uh, the main produce in China to do this kind of business. This is the first one. The third one is, uh, now, now I know how India, India friends come from, uh, from India for biomass. Here is an India company. I know India Institute, IIT, in Bangalore. Bangalore, he is very famous for the biomass gasification for power generation, uh, especially in Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu for power generation because in India some, some really have no power. They should use this kind of separate power system. He, uh, uh, this he's a main developer of uh, in India. Uh, the second one is that uh, I, I think uh, Jim maybe know is that Akin Akin Jian, Akin Scientific in in Baroda. I had visited them, Dr. Jian. He graduated from the MIT and then in in India, he does this kind of business very well in India. So I I, I had uh, sold the uh, the uh, the gas analyzer to IIT for research or biomass research here. This is the second one. The third one is for underground coal gasification. This is in China. Because especially for the bronco, for bronco, high moisture. If you take it out, take it out, the shipping is a problem. Especially just like the UK, UK, USA, no starter. In no, no starter. Uh, the uh, uh, Grand Fox, mm -hmm. not stuck here. They are very rich in the bronchial. When they take out of that, it's very difficult to ship that. And the freeze, you cannot remove that. And then it's uh, just carries the water for spring, but no, no, no worry. So in China, they are very rich in this kind of coal. They have no ways to carry it out. And then with the gas fire, on the lungs, the gas come out with high pressure. He's a very famous company, a big company in China, to do this kind of uh, research in China. So we supply this monitor system for them, for the underground co gasification monitor system. Uh, the first one is, uh, is that in 2006, I, I, uh, I sent one analyzer system to uh, large hole, that's in India. For this uh, large hole, this uh, uh, coal gasifier company, I think it is the main coal gasifier company in India. Uh, because the company is very near Morbi. Morbi is a, a ceramic center for a manufacturing center in India. So we, we sent this kind of machine for monitoring the gas. Generally, this kind of gas, this is a gas file, and then the dust, uh, and, the, and the, here is the ESP for tar remove with the electrical. ESP with the electrical to remove that. So here the monitor the gas, and also the oxygen. Is oxygen more than 100% the exposure? This is a big problem. So monitor oxygen is very important. Also the gas combustion. <coughs> gas here, out here is to the combustion. <coughs> combustion for ceramic. So this is very important also for the gas fire and also very important for the combustion. So they buy this kind of system. Formerly they use the use the, like the offset one. This is used for the not no offset. This is used for the calori heating value me me measurement for by combustion of the and the water. Just uh, keep the water. See the temperature. How about the temperature? Hello. What What is the maximum oxygen that they they felt was safe in the electrostatic precipitator before they, they could have a, um, a combustion event. For all of what the, the oxygen, everything never. What is the highest amount <coughs> of oxygen that they wanted to see? One, one percent. One percent? Yeah, in China, if more than one, 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 one percent, the yes, we should be closed. No inactivity. If, if more than inactivity, a, a problem. A problem. One percent is very important. Uh, in fact, in China, also for the biomass gasification, in China they are, they are installed about 300 pieces, uh, 300, uh, 300, more than 300 systems of the biomass gasification station in, in China that was installed. 
you know the big problem is that it's like a tank. Do you understand? It's a big tank here. It's, uh, uh, it's uh, for the for the keep the, the gas in a tank, and then generally for cooking, not for power generation, for cooking, for the farmer, for cooking. So so it's tank if the oxygen level is very high, there's some problem with that. As for surely when the when the is a not not good weather, it's a sun and then a big problem. This is the reason now in China, now the government pay more attention to the safety of the biomass gasification. Sometimes it's a trouble. Okay. In India they use this kind of machine for the uh, heating water measurement. So they want to use he here He's a master degree student, a master degree engineer, a chemical. He do the, the heating water, uh, calorie measurement for his company. So he want, they want to buy our automatically gas composition and uh, heating water analyzer for the, for the system. They want to do integration. And then the, for, uh, the, the, second, the last one is the uh, is buy chart process. Now is the one of the largest charcoal company in Brazil. In uh, 20, uh, last year, I have visited Brazil. Here is a wood. He's a wood. He's for is for come from uh, plantation, just the <coughs> plantation for biomass. Biomass very high. I think maybe uh, 50, more than 50 meter, meters. So very high, very thin. This kind of the, the plants, many oil inside. So they use this kind of the biomass for for charcoal, for charcoal. Here is the king, king. This is a big one. So they want to use this kind of gas for power generation, for power generation, for CDM process. Do you know CDM? Clean development mechanism, carbon chain, carbon chain in the world. So want to do this kind of business. So they want to know the gas quality, and also for combustion, also for uh, power generation. So they bought our system for his process monitor and also for, <coughs> for the optimization or for the combustion process. Mm -hmm. So it's by this kind of system, okay. Is this exothermic? Exo? Exothermic? Yes, yes, MG, Minas, Genus. Yeah, it's about from the, the center of the Leo, Leo and the San Paolo, near, near the center, yeah. He was asking if it gives off energy. F energy? Uh, the process is exothermic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know steel company. Yeah. yeah. So he uses charcoal for to replace the coking. Okay. Yeah. In China, coking. In Brazil, charcoal. Maybe Australia. Yeah. Okay. That's all. Thank you. How, how much? How expensive is one of your detectors? Just an analyzer? Yeah, the gas, and six gas analyzer with. Uh, six gas is about 8,000. <coughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, how do you find out that you're in Brazil? Sorry? You Sorry for my bad answer. You're analyzing for people in Brazil, right? Yeah. How do they find out about How is that found? How did they know about it? How is it know me? Yeah, how they know about your company? How they know our company? Yeah. yeah. From the website. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do that. If you see the pro produce case analyzer in the website, we are the first one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Every year we spend about 10,000 uh, 10, 10, 10, 10, dollars in um, Google. Two more questions briefly. Now, did you, did your website said you sold 3,500 of these things last year? Three. How, much, how many did you sell last year? Uh, last year, uh -huh. in, uh, including China? Yeah. Period. Yeah. Oh, totally, one year. Uh -huh. I said maybe 200 to 300. 200 uh, every year. Each year. Each year, yeah. Okay. I said maybe 80% is in China. Okay, Eight. so is that the total units that you've sold, or that's outside of China? One you year, just, the, just one year. Right, but t total in one year? Two, three hundred? Totally. Totally, I think maybe uh, near 1,000 pieces. Okay. Yes. That was units. <coughs> yes. Yeah. Per year. Totally, no, several years. Our company, new company, just. Uh, just uh